All right, everybody, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Kingdom Death Monster. We are rejoined in the studio by Warren. You ready for war? You might call me the the consciousness of the group. In other words, I'm the one to stop these guys from eating <laughs> babies and everything else. So I'm back. Now, can you can you recap me on what happened in the last? Oh episode? wow! Uh, so what happened last time? Um, do I need to put on like my, my recap voice for Netflix? My Were Netflix you well or... behaved? That's all Ish. I need to know. Yeah. Were you nice to our little group, our little settlement, and did you did you help them, or were you just cruel? Did you loot any bodies? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> we had uh, two deaths. Uh -huh. Two deaths, and we faced a level, level two, two lion. It was pretty brutal towards the end. Was it, it worth it, though, at the finish up? Well, we if you have a look at Joshua there, we got another... Three bits of the the lion gear uh -huh. made up. So, so we've got. We, we did get some stuff. We did okay. get some stuff. We've got some lion boots, a lion coat, and we've made a lion headdress. Yeah. We also had a new baby while you were away. Oh, great! Yes. Boy or girl? Uh, boy. Boy. Yeah. We give him a name yet? Not yet. No. Oh no! Did I not name him Hannibal? Hannibal. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right, Hannibal. Because okay. actually, the settlement has a new innovation, uh -huh. which is family. Yes. So now. Um, when you have survivors pair up, they gain a surname, mm -hmm. and therefore the child, or children, if there's multiple, gain that surname, and in a, in a, as a result of that, um, they can gain half of the weapon proficiency of one of the parents. Mm. That's nice. See, that's... That's family for you, right there. That's, you see, you come at this with a conscience, you come at this, you're trying to do good stuff for your settlement, and it starts to pay off. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. Right, well, who are we going after this time? I, th I feel it's time for a hunt, isn't it? It's so, yeah. a big style hunt, this one. So it's something new. The Dung Beetle Knight right here. The so, Dung Beetle Knight. Yeah, so okay. everybody get onto the starting position. So, uh, yeah, classic DBK as he's also known. Okay, so who, who is who so okay, far? So, so this is Kian uh -huh. running out with the twin guitars. Yeah. Okay, and who's this? So this is Vanessa, who is one of our unnamed female survivors we had. No a longer while. unnamed. Okay. Um, so she's got a skullcap hammer. I will bring Joshua. Yep. Okay, and Joshua has, what, a butcher's cleaver and a cat eye circlet, and he's the one wearing the white lion boots. White lion! Uh, awesome. And the, the, the headdresses. And yeah. the white lion hairdress. And then finally, the, the only one I actually recognize from the group is <laughs> John! So, the old man of the group. So he John, is, is, isn't he? John yeah. has aged now somewhat. John has been with us for quite some time now. So. Yeah. He, um, he's he's the one with the the regal curse. So yes. at, at the curse. end of this, you know, his body's going to start to bubble and mutate, and he's going to get another piece of the regal gear. So oh. he's becoming a kingsman. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. You oh. remember after our last session, the very end when we fought the kingsman, yes. and John's feet started to bubble and burn, and he was screaming and writhing on the ground, and then okay. oh look, Nike. Right. Okay. Talk us through it then. And just to recap for people, we are now on the 1.5. We did a conversion. Yes, we have. Um, so uh, come on over to beastofwar.com and you can watch the conversion process from uh, from 1 to 1.5. And then we had a game of 1.5 where you faced off against a level 2 white lion. Yeah, so what, what we have on Beast is we unboxed the 1.5 set, talked about uh, what you got new in it, what mm -hmm. was changed. Then we did the 1.5 game with myself, Chris, and Sam, mm -hmm. and now we're bringing you up to 1.5 as well. The rules okay. are not incredibly different, but we will remind everybody of everything yeah. we're doing okay. as we go. If anything you notice is different, it'll be either a card has typos removed. That's uh -huh. how that's how you know committed to updating it is. Small changes here and there. Mm. Saviors is the main choice, the main thing that's yeah. changed. So yeah. we, we lost we've lost one. the savior because you only can have one at a time. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's so. let's let's get let's get going. Yeah. Right, let's get cracking. Um, okay, so go around in the circle as always. We'll start with Joshua hunt event. We already know this is mm -hmm. going to be a standard hunt yep. event. You're going to so, roll for it. Uh, you need Did to roll. Did you see that card? It's it's a basic hunt event because yeah. we don't have any other things okay. like lonely tree or anything like mm -hmm. that. So just roll a d100. White is tens. Okay. And I put the hunt event away. Uh oh. Ooh oh oh. That's a. What is that? That's a that's a gonna be a, a one hundred. <gasps> yes. Okay. This is the first time we've seen this. This one. is. So I I, I have a feeling this is this is yeah. This is really good. Let's make sure and move everybody up. 
Okay, this is this has been changed because this is a new event I've never seen ever. Uh -huh. Because this used to be where the gold smoke knight would turn up, but now he's the new final boss. You see, yeah, so this okay. has been altered. It's the finale. An enormous metallic sound you done, you rings fall? out from a distance. All survivors are electrified with dread. They suffer two brain damage. Oh okay. no! Don't worry if you haven't got any. In so remember that takes off insanity. Uh huh. So, so that comes. That it takes off insanity. insanity that yeah, yeah that's six. your armor. And then and do the same for. Uh, Mm -hmm. Joshua? Joshua. Sorry, we're all mildly bibbledy at the minute. Yeah. Uh -huh. The survivors may follow the sound. Otherwise, they panic and retreat in the opposite direction. End this event and move the survivors two spaces back on the hunt board. Okay. That's <laughs> if we want to stop. Yeah. If we carry on, instead, we can gain one courage and gingerly approach the sound's origin. As they travel, they pass the shattered corpses of strange beasts. If any survivor has Three plus understanding. So let's just check if we've got anyone uh, understanding. Kian has three understanding. Brilliant. They follow the trail of corpses. So we want to do this because it means we can harvest three random basic resources at the end of this event. Uh -huh. you, you see what happens when you don't waste things, Warren? Yeah. When, you, when you set up your society to actually skin the dead. And okay. then arriving at... Then we arrive, if we do this, I think we want to. Uh -huh. We arrive at a massive anvil. The survivors see a giant one-eyed knight, its charcoal-coloured armour reflecting their lantern, uh, their lantern lights. So you need to just roll a d10, because I think we need to do this. A, we get courage. Yeah. B, we get resources. Yeah. And C, as long as you don't roll crap, um, which, well, we're going to come up against the dumb beetle knight, and there's plenty of crap there to deal yeah. with. Yeah. <laughs> um, this could be awesome. Okay. All right, so well, just, just roll. Mark your courage. Okay, so add Muffle, a courage. Add yep. a courage. Yeah, to everybody. Mm hmm. Yep. So some of these okay. people are really getting quite almost, courageous, aren't they? Yeah. So uh, we will get the resources one at the end of this event. So All just right. roll d10. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 10. Is what it ten good? Uh, yes. 10's always good. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, the knight smashes the object in its hands upon the anvil. When the molten orange object cools, it sets into a massive lion-faced hammer. Okay. Did we just get a random piece of rare gear? The knight places it in the hands of the survivor with the highest courage. So this also means you will have to remove an item if you've got a full gear grid. Mm -hmm. Which we do. Um, and if there's a tie um, between Who, what's courage... What's the courage there? So John has six. Oh, there's a tie, so you have to Joshua roll off. Joshua has six. So you have to roll off between those right. two. Uh, mm -hmm. Odds for John, evens for Joshua. And I will go. find the piece of gear. Odds. So that's John? Yep. Okay. So John gets... The Thunder Maul. The what? hell is a Thunder Maul? What the hell is a Thunder Maul? Um, it is... Ah, let's find it. It's cool. It's wicked. It's, <laughs> it's beautiful. There we go. Thunder Maul. Mm -hmm. Oh, a new mace. A new mace. Yeah. What's the stats on it? Speed 2, hits on 6s, strength 10. <laughs> Sounds good. Ooh, Irreplaceable, mama. unique, cursed. Uh -huh. um, so cursed means... I'm trying to think. remember what cursed means. I think it means you have to be insane for to carry it, maybe? Okay. Uh -huh. um, John I'll, isn't seeing anyway. I'll check that. Anyway, and also on a perfect hit, the monster is knocked down and... Um, you suffer a severe uh, arm injury or non-death survivors suffer one brain damage so yeah it's it's amazing okay now what will we replace with it i would suggest your scrap sword oh, oh hell no, no. Hell we no. don't, we we don't that, keep that bone daggers bone darts uh yeah bone bone darts. Darts. Dump, yeah. Okay. dump the bone darts yeah so um, we just have to archive the slide bone darts. in the thunder mall although john has plus two natural strength that mm -hmm. thing's hitting for strength 12. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! That's good. Okay, cur yeah. Okay, so cursed means oh no, this is this is this is hilarious for John. This gear cannot be removed from his gear grid grid for any reason. So John has it permanently. Okay. Until, but he is on he's destined to die because he's destined to become a kingsman. But he's gonna go out in style. He is so we're going to lose this then? When he dies. But the thing is, he's one of our strongest survivors. Yeah. He's now got one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Yeah. 
he's pretty much who we send out against nemesis encounters. Yeah, he just we, w- walks up and goes splat yeah. every time. So we have to hold him back for uber fights. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, like, uh, there are five bits of regal gear in total mm-hmm. for each of the, the locations on his body. Mm-hmm. So, he's got so after this, we'll have three more fights that we can use John in. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, so. it's like having another savior. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Happy well, days. Uber savior. Let's carry on. Right. Um, so we got to loot bodies. Um, yep. Oh, yeah. We've got resources. Oh, yeah. We yep. got to loot bodies. Uh, what else what happened as a result of, uh, of that? That is it. OK. So it is. Uh, there Three we basic resources. Three basic. I thought when we'd reached the finale, that was it. This was going to be the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid it's not that. that so we've easy. got some monster some bone, bone we've got <laughs> monster hide, and we've got some more monster hide. Good. Excellent. Okay, we'll keep that. Those design. are incredibly useful. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if someone wants to draw this card. Uh, that's going to be. Oh, this will be John. Move everybody up. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we've we got sudden rumbling. Uh, okay, so you hear a low rumbling and suddenly see an enormous ball, uh, ball rolling towards you. Oh no. Uh, roll 1d10. And if the result is equal to or lower than your courage, you stand your ground. Um, so John's cur- courage is 6. Go on. I'm on. Nope. 10. You dive away. So um, then you roll 1d10 and see what happens on so that. So equal to or lower is. Um, you stand your ground. Okay. If it's higher, yes, John's yeah. rolling you there. dive okay. away. Yeah. So roll d10 to see what happens. Five. Um, he takes two event damage to his arms. Okay. So just tick off his arm damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's okay. That's fine. And we carry on. Yeah, so the next one is yourself, Chris. So yeah. He moves up. And what do we get? Abandoned resin ball. Uh, okay. Uh, you spot a large sp- spherical object. There's lots of spherical objects in this uh, hunt. A um, lot of balls. Uh, you spot a large fer- spherical object covered in flora resting at the base of a small valley. Uh, your lantern light catches a glimpse of a face on it. Uh, you may descend and investigate. If you do, you get courage. Mm-hmm. If you don't, you just roll for a random uh, event. I'm going to investigate. Mm-hmm. All right. It's a 20, uh, sorry, no, why am I wrong two? Because that's if I don't investigate, I would need to roll one. Oh, yep. there we go. Three. three. Uh, you scrape at the ball, but the fumes make you sick. So I lose three survival. Oh, ouch. Um, that ain't good. Yeah. But I've gained some courage from it, which gets me closer to that. And we gain some resources. Uh, where are we? Here. We get a resource. And this is brand new. You guys won't have seen this stuff. Um, oh, no. uh, I'm not sure if I want to see the stuff that's coming off this ball. Um, it's Sloth. Oh no, it's a. It's not in the basic resources of the um, of him. It's uh, it's a strange resource. So ah. I have to go to here to ah, find it. So the green deck. Uh, we get some preserved caustic dung. Lovely. Okay. So that can be used for lots of cool stuff, mm. which we'll get to when we finish the fight. So there, more resources. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the last one here I'll is be a standard hunt. Standard, so I will be rolling for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, come on, something good. Thirsty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Rotten faces. Oh. Uh, the stone faces start to give under the <laughs> survivors' feet. They are bloated and smell terrible. So we've left the plane of stone faces and now come on to the plane of Sticky rotten faces. stone faces. Yes. Uh, okay, roll a d10. Oh, each survivor rolls a d10. Uh, is this going to be a case of the straggler? Um, it may well be. Uh, so for me, seven. You're okay, you escaped from that incident. Okay. I get a nine, I'm fine. Okay, Joshua. Fine. John. Uh, fine. fine. Okay. Nothing happens. That was... Uneventful for once. That was happy. Uh, happy days. We're going to handle that. So, and, and we reach the monster, and showdown begins. Okay, everybody, it's time for the showdown. We've got ourselves fully set up. So our dung beetles in the middle here mm-hmm. with his ball. Yep. Uh, we've then got pillars around the outsides here, uh-huh. and because we have a strategist, we've been able to put down a giant stone face. You okay. remember these ones? Yes. So standing on top of it, you gain the the plus one range, but you have to use your combat action to actually get up on top of it. Mm-hmm. Do you want to just slide that? Pillar down just oh, a little bit. Uh, have I? You got it one square up too high. No, come towards me. There, that's there? grand. Okay. Yeah, there. Okay, that's fine. 
So yeah, we've got these pillars. We've and um, it's great that we've got strategist, which is a it's fighting a art. art. So mm -hmm. we've got this big stone face to block line of sight and yeah. also to block that ball moving round because mm -hmm. it will move. <laughs> it's staring at me right now. So you, it's like <laughs> we have to. There are numerous traits for this monster about what it does. So it can yeah. use the ball as a weapon. It has anxiety, so it likes to be near the ball mm -hmm. at all times. Yeah. So. We can push the ball away, and that will mean we can manipulate what the monster does. So we can mm -hmm. drag it where we want it. Okay. Uh, and it does other stuff with it, which we'll get to when it happens. Yeah. Right. Monster turn, then. It's the monster turn, as always. It's uh, got... Oh, uh, who's monster controller? Uh, that's a good point. We've got monster controller. We'll go round. Oh, we'll go with Chris first. Dude. Chris okay. can fire up the monster. Okay. To, to recap us on how it's done. So, so we've got grab and pummel. Mm -hmm. So... It goes for pick target closest stinky threat in range. So mm -hmm. stinky is things like monster grease yeah. or yeah. fecal salve mm -hmm. or anything else. Yeah. So everyone's stinky. Yeah. yeah. So, so it'll be the closest one in range. Yeah. Which is, and it's uh, threat. It would probably be John. So I think it's John, and we'll just remind everyone that the keyword threat mm. means they have to be stood up. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not knocked down uh, or using. Oh, a, survive, a threat is any survivor that is not knocked down or using special gear, terrain, or abilities to prevent, prevent them being a threat. So everyone's a threat currently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. John would be the nearest one. Uh, well, it's either of those two, but John is the nearest one to get to. Yeah. Well, technically, the dung beetle can move over to the terrain yeah. without penalty. So mm -hmm. any of them. Uh, and what else does it say? It says. It does a, so it moves and then attack target. But also, if you have a look at this, it does a speed 10 attack. Ouch. That's yeah. 10 dice. So the dung beetle has movement seven. Does John want to run away or does someone want to, because there's a break here. So if someone wants to, whoever the target we pick mm -hmm. should spend a survival point and leg it. Um. Well, we've got Keen up front, and he's got the full leather gear, so we get to roll to see if the survival is spent. He's oh, yeah, he'd be a good choice then. So, yeah, yeah he, he'll take it as the target, mm -hmm. and he will roll to see if he spends the survival or no, or if he retains it. He, he retains, retains it. his survival yeah. point, so it that's the rawhide fantastic. armor, which, because he's got a full set, it allows you to spend survival and regenerate it. Yep. So he's going to leg it. Uh, yeah, now where does, does he leg it to, is the question. Straight in that direction. Uh, so <laughs> he's. One, two, three, four, four five. five. Okay. Like so that. then the monster moves seven directly towards him. Yeah. So it'll be Short one, step. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then does uh, move and attack. So it attacks the target. Nope, that doesn't happen. So it doesn't do anything. That's the end of that attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I can see this thing being vicious. Okay, I'm just making sure because it's been a while since I fought one of these guys. Um, right. They're kind of scary. So because now it's away from the ball, uh. certain other things will, will trigger right. um, for the monster. Okay. Next, so I'll go. Yeah. Um, no, remind hmm. me, do we get to choose who goes next? Yes. Or does yeah, it, we so, get to choose who so goes next. So what if John runs into the side of him and starts cleaving at him? Uh, we could do that. Yeah. Uh, also, Kian from where he's at could get into its blind spot. Well, John has that thunder mall. Mm. That's a good plan as well. Um, we also need people to move. Oh no, John's right, really right uh, yeah, up close. Yeah, John, John is. Walk straight to right him and smack him here. Yeah. Well, Go for it. Would well, you like to? Yeah, I think we should. I think. Uh, okay. you know, can he get into the back end of him? No, because he would have to get it up onto the, the stone uh -huh. face and then down. Okay. So that like you can. Hit it here, and don't forget we have our extra abilities, so our dodge, encourage, surge, and dash. Okay. So I use. Why do I feel like I'm in an episode with dodgeball here? I, yeah. <laughs> I use the dash to get away, yes. which is basically when there's a break in the monster, you get a, a movement for spending a survival. Mm -hmm. The dodge is if it hits you, you can dodge out the way of it. Yeah. The encourage is if you're on your ass, uh, someone else can encourage you to get back on your feet. Mm -hmm. The one you're going to want to use is surge. Because Surge yep. gives you an extra attack. What do you think, Chris? 
You, Surge him. You well, will, you're you, going you to attack, attack anyway. Yeah. Um, okay. So your speed, two on the Thunderball. Mm -hmm. Needing sixes. Needing sixes. Roll them. One hit. Yeah. Okay. And that hits the uh, side of resin ball. Discard this card and draw a new location. So because it's not next... So what this means, because he's not next to the resin ball, yeah. it says discard it. Because mm -hmm. that's what that X means. That comes into play when he's not next to it. So that goes. Yeah. Okay. Which is a good thing. So you see there are certain hit locations that he's you using them as... Through it. Yeah. You're kind of fighting the, the, the dung ball and the beetle. But yeah. without the dung ball, we get straight to the, the meat of the monster. Mm -hmm. So instead, you hit the filthy claws. Um, so it's got a reflex, but you've just got to roll to wound now. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's toughness 12. A we strength 13. Yeah, because you have a power, t uh, a strength 10 Thunder Maul, mm -hmm. you have a basic strength of 2, yep. and you also have a strength token due to Red Fist, which mm -hmm. is a str secret fighting art. Yeah. Yep. So, anything but one. Anything but a one. <laughs> so, Are you they? wound. Yep. So, that's a AI card gone. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And as we can see, it also does a reflex, which is it, it performs Ground Pound. So, let's have a look at Ground Pound. Ground Pound is this. The monster slams the ground, precisely altering a network of prepared tunnels that are below the battlefield. Uh, all survivors adjacent to the monster suffer bash. So that means John. you get knocked down. Mm -hmm. So just John gets knocked down. Yeah, no damage is done to him, he's just knocked down. Okay. The vibrations create a natural ramp. So let's roll a d10, and that's how many spaces it moves towards the beetle. And anyone along that path gets knocked down and, mm -hmm. and ah. takes damage. So it goes six towards it. So again, it has to be directly, which means it would go one, two, three, four, five, five and six. Six to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was fine. That's worked out well for us. Yeah. So now, um, I don't know. I, I feel like I should... Um, Do I encourage to get John up? I feel someone should encourage him. I, I think um. Vanessa... Yep. is going to activate between actions. Yep. She's and you've use got a survival the, action. the full rawhide gear as well, so yep. we'll roll to see if we keep it. No, she we'll loses it. Uh, a survival. Mm -hmm. That's okay. However, because of it, John, you're back on your feet. Uh, do you want to surge? I want to surge. You want to surge. Yeah, go on then. So okay. sp spend a, uh, mark off a survival point. Mm -hmm. And remember, that strength token as well that you've got can be used as a survival yeah. point as well. We'll just keep it for wounds for the moment, though, will we? Or keep it for... Well, we might use it for dodging or whatever, yeah. but you so don't need it, it for the strength again, bonus. Is it, or two dice again? Yep. Two dice again. Hitting for sixes. Ah, oh, oh, nothing. Mate. That's, That's a okay. shame. Okay. All right. Uh, I think if it's okay, I'll activate with Kian. Mm -hmm. Yep. So from where he is, he will go one, two, three, four, five. Now he's into its blind spot. Okay. Which is great. Because you've Remember got. Remember, you're near the ball, Justin. You've got lion katars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And two of them, so they're paired. Yeah. Speed two, but that goes up to speed four because he's in together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. However, I do have minus one speed because I have a, a broken rib. Uh. So it's three dice. Mm -hmm. Hitting normally on sevens, but it's in the rear, so it's sixes. Exactly. Okay. One hit. That's one hit. Yeah, I'll take it. Fine. Oh, here we go. This is good to show you. It's a super dense location. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's plus six toughness in this area to wound. Oof. Uh, but you gain plus 2d10 strength when attempting to wound this area with a club, shield, or pickaxe. So certain weapons are good to crack yeah. the shell yes. and get to the meaty goodness inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, weapon melee katar. Yeah, so it's not it's it's not any of those things. Yeah. So it is at toughness eighteen. Yeah. Uh, but it's not um, the end of the world because a ten is always a wound. Mm -hmm. A ten is a critical, but you've yeah. got. Uh, well, I have timeless eye, so uh, your attack roll is a perfect hit on a nine or a ten. Uh, can't use timeless eye if I'm blind. Mm -hmm. However, I do have something else that I think... Yes, you've got luck. My, my guitars are deadly. So actually, th what that means then is you get a perfect hit is if you roll to hit. Yeah. But, but luck for the roll to wound yeah. means you crit on Nine nines ten. and tens. So nines and tens for him. All round, that's really good. Yeah, so I roll a dice and on a nine and a ten, I get to wound it anyway, yeah? 
Uh, well, you need yeah, nine or ten, yeah. No, Six. no so it fails to wound, and the failure is uh, you lose one survival. Okay, and that's it. Uh, I think I will surge and go again. Huh? So I will roll from okay. the surge. See yeah. if I mm-hmm. spend it. No, nope. do not. Mm-hmm. So that keeps me ah. on three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I get to roll three more dice. Yeah. And hit this uh, big guy. Another perfect hit. Perfect hits. That's good. Yeah. Is there any bonus for perfect hits I on you? I don't no, believe so. But it's good with the scrap sword. It would be, yeah. But we're trying to get through. Yeah. Um. So it's normal toughness of twelve. Yeah. Uh, I would be at strength four. So you're eight to wound. Yeah. Nine and ten to crit. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Justin. Three. No oh, fails to wound. Oof. Um. Yeah. Nothing else. That goes. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Who should activate next? You could have Joshua go warrant. Yeah. Because he's got the Butcher's Cleaver, which mm-hmm. is pretty damn good. So the Butcher's Cleaver is at strength five, but he's got that strength taken, so he's at strength six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so and you've six got is to wind. two attacks with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you move up into base to base, you'll be hitting on yep. five. Let's go for it. If you move him up there. One, two, three, four, five. A jar. And okay. hopefully. What does he need? Sixes or fives? Fives, fives to hit with it. No. no. Surgeon go again. Mm. Yes. What do you think, Chris? Yes. Um. <laughs> uh, if you want, yeah, I would go. Yeah, it's a strength five weapon. You, you should be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that takes him down to three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Nice. That's, That's more like two. it. Another super dense carapace, mm-hmm. and the iridescent abdomen. Okay, let let's. Oh, what do we resolve first? Um, hmm. So this X doesn't take doesn't count because the ball is next to him. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we ignore that. So that super dense as well. So those normally super dense also applies to if you've got frail weapons. So when mm-hmm. you try to wound, um, there's a chance they can crack and yeah. be shattered. We don't have any weapons that are frail, yeah. which is good. Is a butcher's cleaver good for cracking the par- carapace? Uh, I would hope so. So I would let's do that first because um, you know you've got we'll do a, this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have okay. strength five uh, yeah. with the weapon, strength six of the, because of the strength token, mm-hmm. toughness twelve. So it's six is to wound. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I need a six. Yeah. Roll it. Oh, oh that, was that was close. Critical. That was close. Okay, and then on the next no, one, that has a failure. On. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it does have a failure. It does a basic action. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> What's his basic action? His basic action is closest knockdown survivor. No, no. Closest threat in range. Uh, there's uh, threat is so it's John all of or them. Joshua. Mm-hmm. No, it's threat. So it even it doesn't say about line of sight. So it's yeah. all of them. Oh. Uh, so we have to pick someone. Uh, there is a break, meaning you could run away. So who do we want to pick that wants to run? Pop it on me. I may be able to hold the the survival. Okay. So you you it's haven't so brave. you <laughs> haven't have you dashed this turn? Who uh, you have? I dashed whenever he activated. Yes, yeah, so you've yes. already dashed this round ah. so far. So it has to be someone else to dash. Well, will Joshua dash? Well, Joshua can still surge to go for a second swing, so it might be better having John do it. We'll get John to dash? Yeah, I think that's a good cl- that's a good call. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would spend the strength token as a survival, because it, you don't do. need it. Yep. So that goes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And where do you want to run? Um, as far away as possible. Yeah. Um, hmm. Well, he moves, then there's the break. It does move and attack. Yeah, so you have to. He'll be running away from Joshua wherever you go. He's got movement seven, which is a real pain. So he so doesn't matter where he dashes to, he's going to get caught. Yeah, actually, yeah, because he's going to catch up with you either way. So maybe you don't want to run. You you, well, you want to use that survival to yeah. dodge. If if we if we do have him run, that opens up the two slots at the back. If John runs away, but the other thing is once you've moved. The monster full moves back towards the resin dung ball. Oh, I see. So, yeah, that would be. 
It's tricky Pointless. here. How many dice and what's it hitting on? It's got speed three, accuracy of three plus, and John has got nothing. So he, he's going to get Yeah, hit. it might be better taking it on Kian then, because he's got the full armor and he's got the two extra evasion. Because um, that would mean it's fives. That's a good call, yeah. So we'll give him back that strength token. He's not using okay. it just so yet. Attack Kian. Yep. So he's just attacking him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, on fives. This is hitting on fives. Yeah. Oh, okay. One, One hit. hit. That's mm -hmm. fine. Where's it hit? Well, do you want to just? It does four damage. Do you want to? Do you want to be hit, or do you want to just dodge? Oh, I'll just spend one to dodge. So yeah. I'll roll to see if I spend my survival. You Two, spend it, so but you dodge. It. Mm -hmm. So it does no damage, and uh, he stays where he is because he's a, he's adjacent uh, to he's the dumbbell. Yeah. Dumb so that goes. And so, so we get, do get to hit the next location. Uh, yes, that is right. Um, so Warren, it's, you're still hitting. You, uh, it's, you need tens. I need a ten to hit this. Yeah. yeah. No. 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 And again, you lose one survival, mm -hmm. and that's the end of that. So century, the century carapace is horrible. Yeah. But certain weapons that we have mitigate yeah. it completely. Is it maybe having worth having Joshua wait now because he's burning through his survival quite rapidly he and is. have uh, Vanessa go with her mace? Yeah. Let's uh, let get Vanessa to circle round. Three, four, five. There, and she's going to attack. She's got skull hammer, which mm -hmm. is speed two. She hits on sevens, so nope. nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to use the rest of her survival because she to to surge because she yeah. doesn't. We're all have getting much a little left. low to be surging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> it's tough. Uh, yeah. We clearly, John's the only person that can crack this nut literally. Yeah. And yeah. we need to save the rest of the survival for him to be encouraged to keep him on his feet and keep him fighting. So it's monster time. Yeah, what we got. Shoulder bash, closest stinky threat, field of view. So that's the f those three in front of the beast. Yeah, mm -hmm. these three. Um, so we need to pick one of them. Uh, also, you'll be monster controller. Yeah. Uh, and then it does move and attack, and then yeah. after it does that, uh, it does bash, not back bleed. Oh my word, this is so horrible. Um, <laughs> ah. Vanessa's going to take it on the chin because well, she's well, she's I'm the monster controller. Uh, she's got <laughs> Honestly, she's got, yes, she's got grease and she's got evasion. Yeah. So how many dice is it? <laughs> Two. Two. Uh, I'll roll them. Go on then. It hits on sixes. Sixes. Okay. Oh, 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 come on, man! <laughs> we roll badly the whole time until we start rolling for the monster. <laughs> roll to see way. where it hits. So for the first one, body. Second one. Waste. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it uh, will knock you down. But the thing is, it's five damage. Uh? Yeah. <sighs> so I'll take it on the. Mm. <coughs> Some of it. Is it five damage per location? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh. uh, I'm going to say goodbye to that strength token of hers. Yeah. To or, no, I'm going to keep. Actually, I'll keep it. I'm going to remove the su survival there. Yeah. Dodge. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take it on the waist. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's armor gone, light, heavy. She's knocked down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, place her seven squares away. So she oh. goes towards the pillar and Three. stops. Right. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, let me think. If it's, uh, oh, no. When a survivor collides, which is yeah. what happens, uh, you stop movement, you remove that pillar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So that's archived. Uh, we're going to see what happens to her waist before we do anything so else. Does she keep moving or no? Does she, she stop? stops there because okay. she's also going to take damage from colliding with the oh, pillar. Oh, come on! So on the waist, it is five. five? You can maybe survive Warped that. Warped pelvis, minus one permanent luck. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, this, uh, impairment, warped pelvis. Yeah. We've had that one before. Um, and now for the pillar. And now for the pillar, where does that hit? Uh, um, is there anything else I need to say from that? Oh, gets a bleed. Uh, hits the body. body. That's okay. Yeah. So she's now got two bleeds because she took one from the attack and yeah. one from the pillar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Ouch. But is that monster turn? Or is it doing anything else? That is, uh, it does ground pound, but it's right next to the ball, so there's yeah, nothing it does. Yeah. So that's the end of its attack. 
John, where is it? <sighs> yeah, go on then. Okay, all right. John, <laughs> uh, John, is there any point in John moving at all? Or? No. Okay. Um, no. You may want to, what you may want to do is attack, surge, Run. leg it. <laughs> right. Well, let's attack first. Let's yeah, okay. let's just get the basics done. Yeah, there you go. So on so. sixes. Come on. Yes. Okay. Two hits. Two hits. Iridescent back and iridescent helm. Oh, okay. Um, what do these do? Uh, um, let's go with this one. This is the better one. Okay, so if you hit with a club or shield, you get plus four strength to wound this location. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah, moot point with that thunder yeah. uh -huh. Um And if you wound, uh, you could potentially knock him over and he'll suffer a further minus four toughness and cancel the reaction of the next selected hit location in this attack. Nice. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. So just don't roll a one. Yeah. I hate that. Five, Five is a wound. Is okay, we're yeah. all right with that, yeah. So he's now at minus, a further minus four toughness. So he's knocked over, yeah? Uh, he's not, not, no, don't knock him over. But he's at minus four toughness. And the important thing is the next one, this reaction, which would normally happen, now doesn't happen uh, if you wound uh -huh. it. So, so are you sure he doesn't get knocked over? I thought you'd mentioned no, he gets he knocked over. No, he says staggers. The, All right. So stagger means he, essentially he gets a minus four to his toughness. Okay. Right, okay. But roll to wound. Roll to uh, wound. A new one, yeah. Yeah. It's a wound. Okay. Yeah. So that's another wound done. So you've done now three wounds yeah. in total. Yeah, ten total. It has ten total, so we're getting through them, and so that disappears. So that was your attack. Yeah. Do you want to surge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I will surge. Does the dung beetle remove poo in the woods? Yeah. Yes, he does. <laughs> Two dice again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sixes? Oh, 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 so close. Denied. Yet so far. Leg it. Leg it. Get out of there. Where do you want to go? Just straight away? Why am I lagging it? Because he has attacks Close where that dung that. ball can be uh, yeah. spun around him and hit everyone in base to base. And we need to keep you alive. Right. Okay then. You're the All hero. Right. Directly then away. Leg me straight back then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, Kian will attack now that he's minus four toughness with a twin guitar. Oh yeah. Yeah, go for it. It'll be amazing. So with three dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hitting on sixes. sixes. So, come on. Two, two hits. hits, yeah. Ah, uh, we uh, yeah, we hit the trap. Damn, we got two gung ho. Uh, all survivors are doomed. Full move towards the attacker. So turn He's already to face. Me. Turn to face the attacker. Yep, that could be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, if the monster is adjacent to the attacker, it picks them up, leaps yeah. high into the air, and then slam dunks them into the dung ball. Oh, no! Place the monster in any space adjacent to the ball. And then the attacker suffers five damage to a hit location and gains the smell world survivor <laughs> status card. <laughs> right, okay, so where do we want to put the dung beetle? He needs to be adjacent, uh, but we want to be able to attack him. Honestly, I would say we can just have him land exactly where he was. Yeah, okay, so remove the survivor yeah. from the board. He goes on top of this, but we'll just oh. see what happens. First of all, let's also do the damage to him. Where's okay. it hit? Five damage. Yeah, go ahead. <sighs> to the body. Body. Um, can't dodge this, so I have to take it. Yeah, so body one, two, light, heavy, and roll to see what happens because it goes all the way through. Yeah, oh. don't roll a one, a seven. seven. Oh, that's that's, that's, right. that's that's workable. Where are we? There we go. Body seven, ruptured spleen. You will skip the next hunt event. You can live with You don't that. need to write that down, you just skip the next hunt event. Yeah, yeah, and you gain two bleed, which is. Okay. Yeah, for, for having taken such a but hit on you the now board. gain this status card. Okay. Uh, when you gain this, remove the survivor from the board and place him on this card. At the start of your act, roll 1d10 on a result 8 or more you escape with a further bleed token. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, if a survivor is adjacent, they can spend an action to help. Uh, if they do, the, su the survivor can escape, so we can make you escape. Basically, he's, you're getting... Dissolved by <laughs> dung. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to put that there, and you put uh, the mod the model on there. Yeah. So, uh, and that means, of course, we shuffle the um, 
hit location deck. Yeah. Uh, Not the worst trap I've seen from a monster. But it does mean we have to go up to the dung ball to remove you from it. Yeah. But Lovely. I get so to, we get to stick our arms in and pull you out of the dung ball, Justin. But, you know. It's just like a Friday night, man. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, have, have, you, have you seen me on a Saturday morning after a night out? Yes. Drawing me out of my bed? Yes. Um, yeah, it is like pulling out of a dung Let's ball, remember. Like the monster's still at minus four toughness. Yes. yes. That axe can do some serious damage yep. now. And so let's get in then. This is why it's kind of good, because now you're in its rear arc, which means instead of being whatever you are to hit, it's now one better. Yes. Force to hit. Okay. With two so attacks. Force to hit with two attacks. Oh, oh nice. Two, perfect two hits. Per perfect hits. Well, a perfect hit. Well, a perfect hit then. Okay. Does, does the, the Butcher's Cleaver have something written on it for a perfect hit? No, it just means no. you have to be insane for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, super dense, impervious, because uh, he's next to the resin ball. Uh, the monster guides the attack to the to the resin dung ball, making a demoralizing, echoing sound. Unless the attacker is deaf, uh, they lose all positive attribute tokens, and they lose uh, a survival point. But you can critical wound it, so basically you just need to roll a ten, uh, a, a land and ten, to see if you can critical wound. Okay. No. Nope. So you don't critical wound, so you lose a point of survival. Mm -hmm. That's him down to one now, guys. And so. you lose that strength bonus token as well, okay. which is annoying. Yeah, We, we had to get play the... that one first, didn't we? Um, yeah, because against the other one, it's super dense as well. It's at plus six toughness, so it really... Well, plus six minus four is only plus two. Um, oh yeah, we could have done it the other way around. So let's assume you also wound that, try to wound on that one first as well. It doesn't really, okay. it's not going to make a difference either yeah. way. Oh yeah, okay, then you will have wounded that first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll assume you wounded that would be a plus one token first. So you've done a wound. Yeah. Uh, this reaction cannot be cancelled. The reaction on the wound is, instead of wounding the monster, archive this card, gain plus one survival, which will mitigate that one which you've lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if you attacked with a pickaxe, you gain plus three survival, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So now this card is archived, yeah. which means it doesn't go back in the hit location deck. Mm -hmm. yeah. It goes away. Which is nice. Because they are horrible cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would right. you like to surge and go again? I think I yes. surge and go again, yes. That takes me back down to one survival. Yeah. I roll it's, two dice. Yeah, and it's still at minus four toughness, and you're still hitting on fives, but you miss. Yeah. What the Fortunate. hell? And then you can move. Maybe you want to get out of the out of the way, because... Yeah. I mean, really? you line of sight, but it could do baller. Take him stay. over beside John. Okay, Ooh. so... Yeah, one, uh, three, I, I, w three. I wouldn't stay near it because if it moves to the right place, it, can, it spins the ball around it and it will if hit it moves everyone. To here, there, it could still hit you. I would be, I would spread out. So there, um, uh, go one further up. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, okay, you're still on your butt. Uh, yeah, well, oh, end she of can't get up. Turn. Yeah, end of the next monster turn. Um, now when do I roll for this? Uh, you can do that at the start of your act. So okay, so start of the next round. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's the monster turn. Yeah. So that's the end of that round. So which you, you want to know when you roll to get lifted out of the stinky ball. Yeah. Okay. It does resin ball shot. Furthest stinky target. Oh. Oh. That'll be John? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Turn to face target. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay. Yep. Perform baller. Baller, the monster spins the ball around itself with tremendous force. All survivors in the red zone, so let me just put this here. So you can see the red zone is two squares deep all the way around it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, I uh, think we're safe. We're safe. Um, so, so it does that. All survivors in the red zone suffer con collision. Archive all destructible terrain around it. So the ball gets spun around yeah. and goes back to exactly the spot where it is. Yeah. Did it destroy the face? No, because it's indestructible. Indestructible, okay. But the pillars would have been destroyed by it. Yeah. Then move the ball 2d10 spaces through the target. So ah. we roll 2d10 and it's firing the ball at him. Uh, but there is there is a break in this. So again, John could potentially spend survival to move to further dodge, away. Yeah. To, to, to get further away. Because it is on 2d10. Yeah. And if it hits you, you're going to take 5 damage to a random hit location. Okay. 
Yep. So the further away you're going to get, the less likely this is going to mm -hmm. hit you. So do you want to run further away? Right now you are five, six squares away. So the odds it could hit you is Still high. pretty good. Yeah. I would maybe take it. I can't dodge or... No, you can only just get yourself further away from it. Okay. What do you want to do? Run or stand two and hope it misses. See, if I run, it takes me further away to get back yeah. into the fight. Yeah. But if it hits you, it might murder you. It's a toughie. It is a toughie. What do you think? I would, personally, I would just go stand and hope it misses. Stand and deliver. Yes. <laughs> okay, money what about you, life? Chris? What do you think? And there's no point in me moving in any other direction. All I can, all I can really do is just move as far away as, as possible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it hits you, um, it's you can. I don't know. Do can you dodge this damage? Yeah, I think you can. Do it's only a single hit location. Can you dodge damage from that? Um, hmm. Well, I mean, like, if it rolls over him, is it auto hit or does it have to roll two hit? It's auto hit. It's collision damage. Yeah. Ooh, it's hard. Yeah. Um, See, I'm going to spend a survival. Uh, I'm down to two survival, so I'm going to spend a survival to move five. Yeah. Mm. Can I move five? Yes. Whenever you spend it for the the dash or the dash action, mm -hmm. that gives you a full movement action, which is your full speed. Even though I'm going to five. hit that pillar. Uh, the pillar would stop you. If I went behind the pillar, would the pillar stop the ball? You don't have enough movement. Uh, would it stop the ball? Um, hmm. It should do. It doesn't say it... it oh, no, it will... Uh, no, archival, destructible um, stuff. So, yeah, it will destroy the... Um, I think the, the well, pillar will be destroyed by it. question. Mm -hmm. Can this be fired over this? Uh, yes, it doesn't say that the ball is uh, stopped by impassable mm. terrain, so mm. it's hard either way. This is okay. It's tricky. It also has the one thing is also to remember. Actually, this is another thing because we're, we're still building up with this. It mm -hmm. is a new monster. This power mm -hmm. forward one again is you should do at the start of the turn, but you know we'll do that next time. Okay. We're just because we're still learning with this monster. Mm -hmm. There's lots and lots of traits where it's using this ball. So I would say just leg it, leg it somewhere. So we have one says stand and take it. The other says leg it. I would leg it. I don't think you can get far enough away to make it worth spending the survival. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my thinking. It's not just me saying, no, no, you can take it on the chain. It's me going, it's not worth spending the survival. There's other stuff okay. you can use that on. Um, I'm going to throw one more option. What uh, if I run towards him? Um, then you're guaranteeing the hit because, as it stands, Chris could roll two ones, and it could. Well, the two chances spaces. are I'm going to go, I'm going to take the hit anyway. All right. So if I run towards him and take the hit, and then get up, and then I wouldn't have to move. I would just I'd be able to attack him straight off. But it could kill you right out <sighs> with the five damage. Well, it yeah. could kill me regardless of where it hits me. It could kill me if you now, dash. Because if you dash, there's a break, so you could dash up to it and attack it now. Yeah, attack the ball. No, attack. you attack him because you've got there's a there's a break point, so you could dash and surge. Oh, to hit him before, it, so you can use two of those. Yeah, because it's a new point. it's a new round. So I in that break point, before he want... fires the ball at you, you can run up to him and smack him. Let's one. do that. Although if he runs up to him, would he get hit by the ball? Um, oh yeah, but he's going to perform baller, so you get knocked down by that. Um, oh, you're going to get knocked down either way. Yeah, run up to him and hit him. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Let, let's, okay. um, let's run up and hit him. Okay, so do I need to spend a survival to do this? Uh, yeah, you're going to have to spend two survival points here. Oh, that takes me to zero survival? Yeah. yeah. That's okay? You still got the strength you, you token. Can, yeah, okay. you've got your strength token for one. So will I go to one survival then and spend the strength token for the next one? Right, okay. Yeah. So, uh, hit him with two dice? Yeah. Yeah. The problem with this Fortune fight is everyone is breathe. stinky, so we're yeah. always targets. <sighs> oh. Oh, and it missed. Okay. So wow. now you're knocked down. Uh-huh. Because yep. he does baller. So. so he does this first. On your back. Yep. 
I'll then look. he does the 2d10 which will be straight towards you but this is important so we know how far the ball goes four. away mm -hmm. it goes four so put ball one two three four there and then you take five, five damage, damage to a location mm -hmm. to a location hopefully on the feet <sighs> waste waste Right. Okay. I don't think you have any armor. Which yet. goes, you've got one point so of armor. One point of armor. And yeah, three and health levels. Right that goes yeah. blast straight through, yep. Yeah. And then roll, roll D10. D10. Four. Four. Oh, oh, no, this is bad. Uh, <laughs> intestinal prolapse. <laughs> your gut is gravely injured. You can no longer equip gear to your waist uh -huh. as it's too painful to wear. This is permanent, so put intestinal prolapse on him. Intestinal prolapse. In abilities and impairments. Yeah. And you gain a bleed token. So, not the end of the world, well, actually. Incredibly horrible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, monster turned on? Uh, yes. So, yeah, the thing which I'm going to just make a point about with this card is you should be doing this at the start of the turn because mm -hmm. we got too caught up in trying to yeah. learn the other bits. But where it does baller and then it, it fires the ball towards you again mm -hmm. and it moves towards the ball so that influences again whether it can do certain traits or not so, yeah but we'll get to that in turn mm -hmm. okay fine so you're not down that's the monster turn done yeah so you will stand up yeah um i'm going to spend a survival point um to, to encourage john, john to get up mm -hmm. good shot so from where john is uh, that means John can do his move and fight activations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you like to move into the blind spot? Or do you just want to attack? Yeah, you're going to have to blind spot. We need to kill blind this thing quick. Blind spot is always good. Yeah, let's blind spot. Because one, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Two attacks hitting on fives. Yeah. Okay. Because you've been rolling a lot of fives. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Seven and eight. Lovely. Super dense and another super dense one. Uh, okay. Is he still down in toughness? No. Or? No. Okay. Okay. Let's go with this one because though he's going to be at plus six toughness, you've got a club. Mm -hmm. You're at strength. <laughs> 13. 13. Well, don't know your strength 12 because you spent that strength as a no, survivor. No, 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 I didn't do we the didn't, We didn't end up doing that. We yeah. kept it. Oh, no, we did use it because we did it the other turn. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. People will go, yeah, you did spend it. It doesn't matter. Okay. It, it should be gone. I'm but the point here. is, because you're hitting with a club, you get plus 2d10 strength against this. So mm -hmm. though he's strength like 18, yeah. you get to roll 2d10 on this. And add it to your strength. Yeah. Okay. So you've wounded anyway, so it didn't yep. matter. So you crack through the shell even more, which means, again, you get plus one survival. Mm -hmm. Nice. You deal a wound. Ooh. Oh, it's a daisy. There you go. That's all right. I'm going to cover these. It's all right. We'll get it later. Pencils. We've got it. Okay. Um, okay. So you've got back a survival point. Yep. Yeah. You've wounded it. And again, this is archived. So again, you're removing yeah. these powerful carapace AI cards. ones. Yeah, I've done the So every time AI. you crack through the carapace, you're getting to remove the cards that relate to the, the hardened yeah. carapace. All right. So That's you've got interesting. Another one here. Which is, again, uh, super But did I do a wound? Yes, so you did. Do we need I've, I've removed it because we're now done five okay. wounds. And we've yep. got five yep. wounds done. So what's this? So that says, um, normally you would do ground pound. Uh, oh, no, before attempting a wound, um, you do ground pound and cancel the reaction on this hit location. So before attempting to wound. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before the attempt to wound, do ground pound. So that means we do this, yep. which is where... Uh, you roll a d10 and the ball rolls towards him. So that would mean if you were stood in front of him, mm -hmm. the, ball, the ball would roll um, into you mm -hmm. and mush you and potentially knock you over and you wouldn't get your attacks. Yeah. But you're well, not there. We're behind him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So does the ball stop or does the ball uh, hit well, you him? have the to ball, roll to see it move. It'll roll towards him. So it rolls forward one space. Which is and okay. it's there. lovely. So now you do the attack but that also means it says cancel the reaction on this hit location so the failure won't take place but you're not going to fail wounding this because mm -hmm. your strength ridiculous okay yeah. so we're just rolling for crits here so yeah you've wounded and that's another wound down lovely mm -hmm. so surge uh no because you've already surged this round because oh, you yeah. did it in the monster's turn mm -hmm. yeah but that did bring you into a place where you were fit to hit him 
which yeah. is good. Uh, we could have Vanessa go in and fight. Uh, yes, she can go in the rear. So, yeah, yeah go on, move her up. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, she's got speed two on this weapon. Uh -huh. um, she you doesn't have sixes. any luck. She needs sixes. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Take that all day long. <sighs> all right. Okay. So I'm going to go with the super dense location again here mm -hmm. because it's super dense, but she gets plus 2d10 strength because she's using a skull hammer, which yep. is a mm -hmm. club. So strength three. Four for the strength token. Mm -hmm. Five, six, because she has a monster tooth necklace mm -hmm. against a toughness of 16. So oh. strength, so she needs 10 on 2d10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, oh, she does it, does, mm -hmm. it with, uh, does it with flair. Mm -hmm. uh, gains a survival. Nice. Good. And archives another yep. century carapace. And we drop the AI card. Or and another gone? AI card disappears. Oh, he's getting low. And then, uh, yeah, she's going to surge because mm -hmm. she. Well, you uh, still have to roll for the second location. Uh, yeah, well, oh, yeah. So yeah don't I don't need to surge yet. yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't need to get surge. Yet. It's going to die. It's going to die. Um, strength three. We said it was strength six, um, but it's against the normal toughness of 12. Yep. And it's only 1d10 this time. So it fails. No, no, no. And the failure is it does a basic action target the attacker. So yep. its basic action is. Closest knockdown survivor, no. Closest threat in range, so it will be her, mm -hmm. and it has to do it because it is it says target, target survivor. Yep. So turn the monster around. Mm -hmm. Yep. It moves and attacks her at speed three, accuracy three plus. No, because right. it's on her attack, mm. she can't use survival. Remember, on your attack, you can't use survival mm -hmm. to do anything on the on but the surge points because it's her. It's fives to hit. Yeah, speed three though. This is her death because this is damage four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, <laughs> I've, I've hit it with everything. Yeah. Um, right. So where do these hit? Head and body. Um, no, either way, uh, I'm gonna spend her survival point she just got then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so to the dodge. The um, to dodge the. To dodge the head. Yeah, and then it's four, so you're only knocked down. Uh, what to the body? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, and uh, it goes through. Cause she already took damage when she yeah. collided. Mm -hmm. So what happens to her? Eight, which we know is generally okay because it's high. Yeah, you'll be taking a bleed token and a minus. Three. Broken rib minus one speed. Oh. Yeah. and another bleed token. Yeah, not awful though. Um, not dead. But yeah, and it's permanent as well. Yeah. Okay. Is it time for Joshua uh, to run into the rear? Yes, because it has turned around, so Joshua could get into the rear. Yeah. Would you like to, Warren? Yes, very much so. Oh wait, we haven't finished actually. Sorry, before oh, you do yeah. that, it She's moves towards the resin dung ball. So move, uh, move him. So how far? Uh, all the way. One. It's got movement seven like that. And yeah, and it's turn, turn to face. Turn to face the ball, dung ball. That's yeah. okay. I can still get into his rear. Yeah. So Joshua. Yeah. She's not going to surge or anything, or. No, I think she needs to keep the survival That's now. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in the rear with Joshua. Yeah. Hitting on fives. Two Four. attacks. Two dice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Both nice. hits. Mhm. Mm uh, another. Carapace and untrained parry. So the wound attempt on this location fails unless it's a critical. Okay. Hmm. Other location first then? <sighs> you might as well do the super dense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Strength five? Five, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're going to need to roll. Uh, also. Uh, Joshua is crazed, so John or Joshua should have been getting at least one insanity, insanity yeah. for that perfect hit you just so did. So you've got insanity uh -huh. to give him, so give him a point of insanity. Yeah. Uh, you know, the brain damage area here. Okay, yeah. so he's gone up to five, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think he can hit, he can wound, can he? With a um, strength five. On a ten. Is it on a ten? Yeah. I believe so, yeah, Chris? 
Oh, I, I'm going to have to revise something on her as well. I think okay. she is dead. Really? Um, yeah, because you're not allowed, to, you can't, I was thinking, yeah, you can't dodge as well on the, uh, on attack. So if you get damage done as a reaction on attack, you can't dodge it. So right. where, so that damage we said was to the weight. Uh, oh yeah, the head, which is one, two, and that. So let's also yeah. roll for what so happened what, to what on head. the head. Seven. Okay. You're alive. We're making sure we do it f fair because everyone on the videos will go, you did that wrong. And yeah, yeah. I think it's time we, uh, you know, our luck ran out maybe with some people. Head, which was a seven. Oh, she's only blind. <laughs> only that's blind, all, that's okay. <laughs> which no, is minus one accuracy, minus one accuracy yeah. and blind, and of course, uh, oh no, it's minus yeah, it's minus one permanent accuracy mm -hmm. and another bleed. Okay, so she's almost uh, yeah, dead anyway. She's gonna need yeah. to stay out of this fight for but a she's knocked down as well. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So, but carry on with your bit yeah. now. Yeah. What did we say? You've got the, the insanity. Yep. Yeah. Um, um, now it's the two to hit location, to rolling to for 10 to wound, yeah, for the uh, critical. You were doing this one, yeah, yeah. 10 to wound on the critical. Wound on a critical. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. <sighs> Whatever, right. Um, so, it is a wound, so the, the important point to make of this, it doesn't, because it doesn't say critical, uh -huh. it, do, it means the reaction is not cancelled, uh -huh. but it is, an, a 10 is always a wound. Yep. Yeah. A natural 10 is always a wound. So, we say goodbye to this again, you get plus one survival, mm -hmm. and we remove yeah. another um, AI, card. AI card. So we're, we're down, down to two. two wounds left on this thing. Would you like to surge? Or well, you well, start start this one, one. Which, yeah. is, which the only way you can stop that is if you critical on that. So again, yeah. you need to roll a critical. Yeah. I need so to roll a critical. Four or ten. No. Yeah. Okay. So failure is full move towards the target attacker, so turn to face. Mm -hmm. yep. If the monster is adjacent to the attacker, they suffer bash, mm -hmm. so that's a knock down and they're knocked back uh, seven squares, which will be oh. into John, mm -hmm. which means it's collision time. Oh, oh God. Does that knock John down too? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> of course it does. Stupid, stupid question. Of course, it, of course it's going to eliminate us in that way. Uh, where are we? Critical wounds. This is the point where we all die. And then Justin crawls out of a ball of shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in the back. <laughs> Survivors may not normally, yeah, however they may collide. When this happens, complete the knockback movement normally. At the end of knockback movement, both survivors suffer collision. When a survivor is knockback ends on the space, they collide. Uh, yes, okay, both so knock them eight, down. One, mm -hmm. So we'll go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Joshua would end here. Mm -hmm. uh, way down the board. John's knocked down two. Thankfully, this is not on the monster. Ah, side. okay. So it's if they l if it ends on another person. So, so ah, yeah, so that's so John, John is okay. John is no still not down because it went okay. through him. But you mm -hmm. leave him there, and the other person goes all the way seven to there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, fine. <sighs> no wounds then. No wounds. No, no they're effect. just knocked down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that goes away. Yeah. And I'm now rolling for an eight to crawl my ass out of this dung ball. Yes. Yep. Come on, Justin, crawl out. Well, <laughs> roll again. No. Oh, close. In there. close. Close. My head's poking out going, guys, <laughs> hey, help, help. <laughs> <sighs> Can anybody tell the difference? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> a dung ball's birthing yep. a baby dung ball. <laughs> next uh, next yeah. monster round. Uh, nobody can no do threat. anything. So nobody can do anything at all then. No. But we'll see what he does. Mm -hmm. Closest stinky threat in range. No threats. Closest mm -hmm. survivor. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, who's our monster controller right now? Uh, it would have been around to Joshua. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, last time. Well, it would have been Joshua last time on that round. So it's actually John. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, who do you want to pick? Uh, it's move attack. <laughs> oh my word. It's grabbing pummel, isn't it? It's, it's Vanessa for this, isn't it? Yeah, it's <sighs> Vanessa for this. Sacri <laughs> sacrificial lamb. It's like, it is Vanessa it's for It's like this. that was a question. Someone's <laughs> dead here. Yeah. Go on, move him up. Well, the first thing, actually, wait, before we also do this, we have to remember we do power yes. forward. So mm -hmm. it does furthest stinky survivor. So that's mm -hmm. Joshua. Yeah. Turn to face the target and perform baller. So the ball spins around. Yeah. So it doesn't hit anyone. Yeah. Move the ball. 2d10 spaces through the target. So this is weird because it spins the ball around. 
Uh -huh. And then turn to face the target and then move the ball 2d10 spaces through the target. It's going to hit everybody. <laughs> so it can't because the ball has to end where it is. So yeah. it's going to stop where it is. Okay. That's my interpretation of that. If no one agrees with me, you can tell yeah. us on the comments. I, I'm going to okay. agree with you, just because I don't want to see this happen. It, it says the ball moves around it, uh -huh. spins the ball around it with tremendous force, and it moves from the location. So, yeah, I'm going with that. That's my interpretation. That's okay. fair enough. But then it is going to move and attack and kill someone, so who cares? Yeah, so, um, Vanessa? So, move him up to it. Speed 10. Oh, I'm not even going to roll the <laughs> dice. With That's this, the so one much. we were left with? <sighs> right, here's five dice. We'll just see how many hits he gets. Hits on yeah. fives, hits on six, seven, hits on sevens. Oh, you never Hello. know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two hits so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and another. Okay. Three hits. Three hits. Hit three locations. Um, head, okay, well we already know she's going to die there. Yeah. Legs is armor gone, and hands is armor gone. So we only roll once, see what happens to the head. Yeah. For a four, four, which four, that's bad. is, I think that was blind, I think she's now completely blind. Um, no, it's head, oh no, she's decap decapitated. Right, okay, so. uh, remove it from the board. One okay. dead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sorry, right. more resources. Well, she was completely brand new. We've never used her before, uh, so... Exactly. Um, More resources. Okay. Uh, that's yeah. horrible that the last card in the AI deck is Grab and Pummel. We really yeah. need to win yeah. to remove it, because being I hit by speed 10 is terrible. The great thing is, we were all knocked down during our hero phase. So it's the end of the monster turn. Yes, that's correct. We get up. Yes. Can you take me into his rear? Uh, yes, I can. I think John should Three, have four, a crack at this, five. yes? Yeah, to the rear. to do this. Yeah. So and if you have any survival, just go nuts. Two attacks. Both hit. Both nice. hit. Nice. Hoping for no trap. Mm-hmm. Oh, should we have someone spend survival to no trap beforehand? I would say, unfortunately, we've now rolled we have to draw, just to play fair. Okay. This is going to be bad, isn't it? Oh, it bleeding well is the trap, isn't it? <laughs> Typical. Oh, oh. Well, I was doomed. Uh, the, and he lifts him up and he slam dunks him. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're in the ball with me. Yeah, so that's another smell <laughs> world card. Okay, so... Whip. Next time you think about the trap, Justin, say before we roll. <laughs> How about you slow down? And you take five damage to a random location. Mm -hmm. Have fun. To the head. Oh, this is... Oh. John's going to get... So dead here. Yeah, so just yeah, just or, yeah. yeah, yeah. Roll, roll that one. d10 and see what happens to him. Five. Five. You'll survive that. You're that probably is blind. A that is survival. That That's is blind. not dead. That is intracranial hemorrhage. You know, can, you can no longer use or gain survival. Mm -hmm. So uh, tick off can't cannot gain or mm -hmm. use survival. It's permanent, and you gain one bleed. Okay, and what's so that called? Intracranial. Hemorrhage. hemorrhage. Right. Um, hmm. Would Joshua like to give it a go? And now I need to do all these hit locations again. Yeah, you need to shuffle them. Mm -hmm. <sighs> See, our, our luck has finally begun to run, run out. Whose idea was it to fight the dumbbee? Oh, no, it was mine. <laughs> um, sorry. sorry uh, okay, whose idea so was it to instantly run out and attack before talking about traps? Joshua <laughs> can only go into the front, can't he? Uh, yeah. Can't but get him into the rear, can we? I could try and roll to get myself out from the dung ball for this round. Yeah, well, I think go on. You yeah, need to do it. To and do it if anyway. if I do get out, oh, would I have taken a damage? You'll take a bleed from this. Mm. You haven't yeah, taken would I have taken yet. one from the last time? No, no. Okay. Uh, so let's see if I can get out. Yeah, yeah you nice. do. You I get out. Awesome. Right. So there so you go. Bleed taken. I'll take the bleed, and I, and I assume I come out at the mouth. Uh, you're placed uh, adjacent to the ball. Oh, yep. just adjacent. Perfect. Um, so. I'll place here, mm -hmm. uh, and then you gain... Well, actually, I'll be sneaky. I'll place myself up here. Mm -hmm. You gain gets... a new Survivor Status card. Which is? Dung Milk. Yeah. When you gain this, you are knocked down. So you're, you're placed knocked down. Okay. Mm -hmm. You suffer one damage to your body that ignores armor. Uh-huh. Um, oh, wow. Oh, I'm going to have to roll. While you have Dung Milk, you are stinky. So essentially, it makes characters who are not stinky, stinky. stinky. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, where does it hit you here? Yeah. Well, I have to roll to see how bad this is. Oh, no, wait. Two. Ah! Well, no, 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 no you rolled two. You gain to your 
to your body. It's one point of damage to your body. Is your body already maxed out? Yeah. Oh yeah, what did you roll? Two? Oh, two. Oh, I oh think I no. I think you just got dissolved. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Don't worry, lads. I've got it. Arm falls off. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, body, two, dead. Oh. Damn it. Right. Ah. Okay. More resources. Okay. Oh, there's always a positive in always it. Always looking um, the bright side. Oh, you're going to have to go for it. Joshua's yeah. just going to have to yeah. hammer you in. You can surge. You could kill the beast here. Three. But yeah. Four or five will take you to there. Yeah. Okay. Two attacks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A lantern hit, so you gain an insanity point. Mm -hmm. Brezen, uh, oh, what? No, oh, oh, no, 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 that's an AI card. That should be dead. Yeah, so. Hit location. Super dense? Uh, yeah, okay, super dense. Um, it's got plus six toughness to it, so. Looking at a ten. You can do it. Oh, oh, I saw that for a moment, yeah. and it's yeah, going to be... It so you lose a survival. Uh-huh. Surge on your last one. Can I go down to survival zero? Yes. Yep. Okay, so I'll surge, go with two Roll attacks. Two. <laughs> hit it. Oh, man. Uh, one hit. One hit. Hits the iridescent back. Uh, okay, so your strength is five. five. Mm -hmm. You need seven or more to... Uh, seven or more to wound because it's toughness twelve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Ah! Oh, come on! God be damned! Right. Reflex. Turn to face directly away from the attacker. Mm -hmm. It beats its wings. All survivors and blind spots suffer knockback seven. So just moves to the edge of the board, and knocked that's down. it. You're not. No, it's no, knocked back. Knocked back. Knocked Bash back. is not causes knockdown. Okay. That's actually pretty good for you. Yeah, because it brings you out of the. The rotation thing. No, it's not good now, is it? Yeah. Because it's, it's now. Oh, right. Grab and pummel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Who's it going to attack? Joshua. Yep. Yep. TPK? E yep. Um, there's nothing that's going to help us with this, is there? Yeah. Zero yep. survival on him. Uh, turn to face. Yeah. Uh -huh. Moves up to him. Uh, oh, hold on. Yeah. Before we do it, again, leave them what's worse. Because the monster is not next to the Dumball, he doesn't perform power forward. Uh -huh. So that doesn't take place. Mm -hmm. yep. Always remember look what happens at the start with any of these damn yep. traits. Yeah. That's the problem with this one. It's got so many traits in play, there's mm -hmm. lots of things to check. Yeah. Right. Now he moves forward and he beats the crap out of him. Okay. Yep. With uh, ten attacks. Oh. Yep. And it's just on three. Uh oh. Oh. I oh no, what? sorry, fours. Uh, it's hit on fives. Hit on sixes due to the okay. um, monster grease. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so that's two, three hits. Yeah. And three Oops. hits and four hits. Uh -huh. I think it was five because I think it was four hits in that first batch. Oh, uh, was it? Okay, okay. Yeah, so I think it's five. So yeah. it's five. And Die. it does two damage to each location. Uh -huh. Yeah. To the waist, waist. two uh -huh. damage. Yeah. Yeah. Just roll them all, man. Let's and get it over to the with. Body, the body. And to the body. And to the head. head. And um, to the. So the head he can take. take. Okay, take two damage to the head. Uh huh. Two and damage to the body. Two. Yeah, you can take that. And then another two to the body. Yeah. Yeah. Which knocks you down. Which knocks you down. That's okay. fine. And you and have to roll one more. Two, two to, to the, the waist. waist. You can take that. Yeah, you can take that. Oh, we could survive this. This would be one nuts. More. One more. Oh, look! What was the last one? Waste. waste. Oh, no! Waste, so. Right, we have to hope this doesn't... Okay, go on Roll d10, Warren, okay, and see what happens to him. For the waste, okay. For four. Ah, survivable. It's survival. It's intestinal prolapse. We seem to be getting intestinal prolapse mm -hmm. recently. Um, you gain a bleed. It's permanent. Yep. And you can't wear armor on the waist anymore. Uh, okay. Bleed token bleed. on him. Okay. Yep. But that's um, the end of the monster's turn. Yeah. Right. Um, first of all, then, let's see. Uh, we may as well check if John can get out of the dung ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Oh. You're on your ass, so it's monster turn. Oh, yeah. It's monster turn, which is grab and pummel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, oh. he's not a threat. Stinky threat in range, then it's close to survivor. Ah, oh, damn it. So yeah, you're still going to get hit by this. Yep. Again. <sighs> Ten swings. Hitting on sixes. Uh, One. two. Mm-hmm. Three, Three, four, five. five. Okay. okay. Again. Well, this is all yeah, just, just going to... Just rule them all there. Yeah. So head, legs, body, body. body. One more. Hands. Hands. Hands, it goes through. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So head was two. Yeah. So it's 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 damage to everything. You knocked down. <laughs> you would have been. You already knocked down. So that's Arms okay. Arms, I can take. Body, yep. I can't take. Yeah. Body, you'll have to roll on twice. Uh huh. And was there anything? Hands. Else? Hands, it was okay. Yeah. Feet. No. Oh uh, yeah. Feet was. Legs, I can take. Yeah. So it's just two rolls on the body. Two rolls on the body. Were you? Oh yeah, we did take it on the head. Oh wow. Okay. Oh no way. Okay. Oh, nice. Ruptured spleen. Uh -huh. You skip the next hunt. So tick on his little skip the next hunt, and you okay. take. There's a wee box there. Two further bleed tokens from that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you write that down. Actually, ruptured spleen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's only a temporary one. It's a temporary. And what was the other one? Nine. Yeah. Collapsed lung. Minus one movement token. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. We're. Not uh, we're we're not dead yet. And a bleed, <laughs> and a bleed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so Joshua, bleeding, bloody, half dead. At the end of the monster's turn, he will stand. Would John like to try and get out? Yes. Just at the start of our turn. He doesn't. No. <sighs> Do we lose John if he ends up stuck in this bullshit? Uh, <laughs> no, he'll be fine. We dig no, him out finally. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Oh yeah. no! Go on then. Hit it in the back. Any okay. survival left? No. No. One hit, two dice, roll. Okay, okay. one hit. One. one That's hit. okay. Um, you get uh, another point of insanity. Yeah. Uh -huh. It hits the iridescent breastplate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. Okay, you just need to roll to wound. So your strength five. Yeah. Uh, toughness. You need sevens to wound. Five. <sighs> no good. <sighs> you know um, what's going to happen now. I can't, I can't surge or there's no, nothing no, I can do. No, so. this, our this luck is, is this, this is our this is our die. TPK finally. Yeah. It it took long enough. It turns to face you. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it'll roll ten dice at you. And then it will roll. Ten dice at you! Oh my mm -hmm. word! Um, On oh, sixes, there's just nothing. There's nothing that's going to stop this madness. Um, sixes to hit, so it's got three, three hits. Three, yeah, and then a further four, five, four, oh. six, seven. <laughs> seven hits. I think he's dead. Uh, we'll, we'll, let, we'll find out how he dies. Uh, yeah. yeah, we. Okay, where's it going to hit? Um, Hands, hands, head, body. Yeah, all of that. More. Yeah. Uh, head, waist, yeah, waist, okay, waist. Okay, oh my word. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do the head twice. Okay. Yeah. Roll twice the head. Uh, three. Decapitation, dead. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. He got he got properly mushed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's not the end because he could escape. Yeah, that. John. Yeah. Could escape. Yeah. So, actually, yeah. at this point, all the monster's going to do, as its next activation. Yeah. Is because he did trying to get out. Yeah. Um, it'll do grab and pummel. Yeah. Which it can't because you're not a threat. You're you're away. Yeah. So it does defensive spit salve, which is a basic action, which it means if there are any, um, if there are any, put an archived century carapace. So the ones we've been getting rid of, it puts back on top of the hit location deck. Uh huh. So then it moves towards the ball. Okay. I think I think it says yeah, it flies to the ball. So place it with the ball in the in its blind spot. So turn the beast around, yeah. and then we we'll have to see if, roll to see if John gets out. But you do realize yeah. if John gets out, he's going to get pummeled in yeah. way because he's going to get out, knocked down. <laughs> he's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He takes. He gets dung milk. Yeah, you've got no. dung milk. Okay, yeah. But you then take a minus one, um, what's it say on dung milk? Uh, you no, take a hit to the body. He could get out on this side though, couldn't he? Yeah, and you're not, well, 
Either way, he's going to hit you. But you yeah. get out knocked down if you look at the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it says... Knocked down, yeah, yeah. suffer. Minus one accuracy mm -hmm. and minus one evasion. So yep. it's going to hit yep. you easier. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to do anything this turn. Mm -hmm. It's monster's turn, which is going to be grab and pummel. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, actually, it does do the swing thing with the oh, yeah. dung ball. Oh, turn. yeah, it will yeah. do that first, which is furthest stinky survivor, which mm -hmm. is him. Yeah. It spins the ball round, yeah, and then, and then it launches it at you for 2d10. Mm -hmm. And it goes uh, 10. 10. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, destroys that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then full moves the monster towards the ball. Yeah. Which will be one, two, three, yep. four, five, five six, six seven. seven to there. Mm -hmm. Then it does grab and pummel. Yeah. <sighs> this is insane. Uh, turns, moves, attack. Yeah. Right, basically. No. Uh, John has no monster grease, no nothing. So he's, got it is... he's got survival. He's got survival. So he can still dodge. Mm -hmm. Even whenever you're knocked out? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So this could work. So let's have that extra die. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So has John got anything else? No. No. Okay. So he needs uh, five oh, to Oh, he can't hit. spend survival. He can't spend oh, some money. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> no, we can do. That was the no, intracranial hemorrhage uh, that, that stopped that. So, one, two, two hits. Mm -hmm. Two hits so far. Second set. Two more hits. So four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, so he's hitting on fives. Three more hits. Three more okay. hits. Okay. Three hits. So that's five in total. So. Feet. Oh, that's all right. Waist. Yeah, legs. Legs. You can, you can take. take the damage because you've got regal. Yeah. So that zeroes your armor. So that zeroes your armor off because you've got regal um, uh -huh. greaves. Yep. So your final legs and the waist. You take two damage. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. So he rolls on the waist. Yeah. Um, oh. Uh, and dead. that is him dead. Final breath. Yeah. Um, he's dead. Oh. Oh. Do we lose all of our gear? Okay. This is the important thing. So yes. yeah. So. We don't lose all our gear, because there is always a survivor who comes along and harvests all the gear from that. Mm -hmm. uh, we do still get to keep the resources we've already harvested, mm -hmm. okay. but we get nothing from this. Yeah. All these survivors are dead. dead. <sighs> what a sad, sad moment to end on. So and John that, was going to be so our nemesis fighter. So that was our total party kill, yeah. Yeah. which everybody in Kingdom Death experiences. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, that's not too bad, 12 episodes in. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's be honest, we had the dung beetle till it was very, very close to being dead. Yes. It had two wounds left. I think right. we would have died quicker if we remembered the first few times also to do power forward. Uh, I think there were things we could have done a bit smarter, but... Yeah. yeah. You okay. Know, you live and learn. Yeah. Well, the, the oh, die and learn. The downhill was that... that uh, this is trap. going to be a very interesting settlement phase. Well, yes. We're not going to be doing much, are we? Well, that was f***ing disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. What a monster. Best way to open, open a video is bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> yeah, but trust me, we've done that many a time. Yeah, sure. Right, um, um, we've so. got to finish off a few things from the showdown. So the first thing is we nominate four survivors that we have. Yeah, do we right. have four? Yeah, we do. We do. Oh, okay. we, we've now got a population of seven. We went from yeah. a, a mighty 15 yeah. and it's gone down and down and down. Yeah. So we need to start making babies. These four survivors discover the corpses of the dead. Yep. Uh, they are missing their internal organs. The nominated survivors gain plus one insanity, a random disorder, and they must be fighters in the next hunt. Okay. Right. So I'm going to suggest we take Rebecca. Yeah. Yep. So Rebecca, if you so add an insanity on there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we'll bring so a Re Rebecca with us. Rebecca. She was the one that first saw the Dung Beetle Knight. She has a lot to explain. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's got a point of insanity for that. Yeah. Uh, we'll take out Hannibal because he's brand new. Yeah. Yeah. He gets a point of insanity. Yes. Uh, we'll take out Adam because we'll need to use him. Yeah. He's one of our more experienced folks. Yeah. Because we're most. Because I think we have to be honest. We're going to have to fight a level two line to get resources and have 
the chance to kill something reasonably yeah. easy. Yeah, and actually maybe finish off the, the Lion Armor set, mm. which yeah. could give us a very interesting bonus. And we'll take, we haven't lost the Lion yeah, Armor set. Yeah, and we'll set. take Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we did lose a fair chunk of stuff there. So we lost the, the Regal Boots, we lost the Skullcap Hammer, and we lost the Butcher's Cleaver. Mm -hmm. And then we need to do the disorders for these guys. Oh, everyone's going mental in the, uh, yeah. in the camp. I would be, though. Seeing uh, yeah. it, it, and seeing your four best fighters being well, they weren't disemboiled, our best. They weren't our decapitated. Best. So seeing the mighty John fall. Mm -hmm. Sam now yeah. has uh, I, I, Chimophobia, which means... He's uh, afraid of Imichimos. Yeah, he can't <laughs> use axes, swords. Oh, that's... Oh, does he have to use blunt weapons now? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's okay. We've got clubs. Yeah. Um, but he well, was meant to be a, a sword. He was meant to be a sword proficiency. <laughs> that doesn't matter. You can swap your proficiency. <laughs> a swordsman who's afraid of sharp edges yeah. <laughs> and pointy bits. <laughs> like it, I don't know. It kind of makes sense that because he's specialising in sword, he's now becoming scared of the weapons. Mm -hmm. um, who's next? Uh, we'll do Adam. Adam gets uh, traumatised. Yeah. As you would be. Oh wow. So what's it going to do to him? Uh, if you're adjacent to the monster, you are not down. Oh. So we need to give him a ranged, ranged weapon. weapons. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or at least reach weapons. And he's obviously a specialist. With, he was becoming a specialist with axes. Not we, anymore. We, well, no, we can. we can. get a long axe? We've got a counterweight at axe. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Reach. Good. That's yeah. Good, true, yeah. good call. Uh, Hannibal, who also likes using axes, uh, has seizures. Oh, what on <laughs> earth? <laughs> um, during the showdown, whenever you suffer damage to your head, you're knocked down. Oh, well, that normally happens. It's, it's like the army of the walking wounded. Yeah. Yeah, everything is bad. And then Rebecca's disorder is a weak spot. Oh, what does that What's do? What's it going to do? Uh, oh, so we roll a hit location. Oh, uh, can I have one? I do that. Her hands. Hand. Her hands are her weak spot. Okay. Because they're finally manicured, I'm sure. So. <laughs> um, that means she can't have armor on her hands. Oh, okay, so she'll be getting the, the spotty sets that we have yeah, and make her the support character. So, good idea. And those are the four fighters we have yeah. for the next hunt. So we'll now, put those we've let our side, mm -hmm. but we have no minis to put on. Okay. So, we would start here, we would return, we would build the settlement, we don't get endeavors. We've uh, updated the death count already. Update the timeline. Because um, we have some story events to take care yes. of. Yes, so we one thing we need to remind, we, we forgot to record on camera because we, uh, again, with the timeline for 1.5, yeah. we would have had a regal visit. Yeah, so which we need is to do that now. The coming of more horrible Kingsman type yeah. entities. They, they may steal mm -hmm. our stuff. Uh, right. In this case, it's the person known as the Hand. Yeah. Okay. So he basically ransacked our settlement and stole yeah. equipment. Well, not equipment, yeah. but resources. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but now we've got a few other things. We would have normally the rivalry yes. uh, event yes. mm -hmm. due to what happened in the previous fight. But that says yeah. if you don't have any survivors coming back from the hunt, yeah. you draw a new settlement event. So that we've yeah. got two settlement events to actually resolve. Okay. Yeah. So what's the first one? Um, uh, oh, in replace <laughs> of rivalry, Acid Storm. We have Acid Storm. Mm -hmm. We've seen this one before. Uh, Okay, so we roll a d10. Okay, I'll take care of it. Yeah, go on then. Four. four. Um, um, oh, no, this is for the <laughs> returning survivors. So there's nothing for the returning yeah. survivors. Mm -hmm. uh, but the survivor with the highest insanity... Who is? Uh, probably Adam. Uh, yeah, it is Adam. Um, must skip the next hunt event. Damn it. So he has to skip and he can't take part. Uh -huh. Interesting. So he can't take part. So that yeah. means we'll have to take someone else in his yeah, place. Yeah, we'll have to name someone new. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so that's done. Yeah. Now, if we had drums, uh, we can do... Uh, we have drums. We can't do music endeavours. We don't have any endeavours to spend. Yeah. And we don't have any art. So, and we don't have any endeavours. Yeah, so it's it's not happened. So okay. that one more then? Yeah, mm -hmm. one more. Dark Trader. Ooh, we've had this before. Well, that could be useful. Um, hmm. So what this is, is that we've got someone we can spend resources with to gain yeah. stuff. Um, so, for example, Strange Brew, so you can get things that can heal injuries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the pink stone do? 
uh, you can get founding stones and yeah, or mm -hmm. get yeah. uh, a mortal disorder. Or yeah, or spend seven resources and gain the sexy shiny jeweled thong. I'm totally up for one of those. When you wear you wear this thong forever, roll d10, and either it makes you look amazing, it falls apart as a trader, or you gain luck. It's very expensive. It's seven resources. It's a shiny thong. I would go for the pink rock. Because um, it's two resources. And okay. speaking of resources, we, we oh, had yeah. four dead people. Yes. yes. And we got to keep whatever we had already got. Yeah, so we've also got some more hide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A broken lantern. Excellent. Stuff. And another broken lantern, which is good. Fantastic. Right. Fantastic. You're excited about that. I'm still thinking about the shiny thong. So remembering that we're also we've got in our list, where is it? Uh, we've got this corset dung. We're going to yep. keep that for yeah. something special. Uh, we've got more monster hide, monster hide, and bones. So we can yep. still make some things, but nothing really any good this land yeah, year. Yeah, I would mm -hmm. say let's let's store all that until the end of the next one. Probably more in a big round of making stuff. Importantly, moving on, we've got the principle of conviction because we've oh. survived so long. We have to make a choice. Okay. Okay. You remember this, Warren? The, the survivors knows? must find a reason to be, treasure yep. the darkness in all its mystery, or seek to master it and grow strong. So, if we master the darkness, we add hands of heat to the next timeline, uh -huh. and we, can, we gain the principle of being barbaric. That means we start getting very powerful survivors being born. Mm -hmm. uh, or, we treasure the mystery, and it's the principle of romantic. Um, and you add the Bone Witch to the next lantern year. Uh, let me find these cards and I can show you what they do for us. All all right. Right. I don't need it. We got a sign. The shiny thong is all about romance. Warren, I think the sign is, we just had a TPK, we need more powerful survivors being born. The shiny thong, Justin, it's a sign of romance. I, I tell Remember? you what, I will do you a trade. Okay. You can have your shiny thong if uh -huh. we can be barbaric. Oh, but being, you know, being a barbarian in a shiny thong, can I make that work? So, <laughs> I think you can. The principle of barbaric um, uh, gives us, increases our survival limit. Yep. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, all newborn survivors, yep. and all current and newborn survivors, mm -hmm. get plus one permanent strength. Yes. Oh, well, wait, 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 yes. wait, 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 or we go the romance side. Uh -huh. Again, survival limit increases, and when you gain a random fighting art, you draw three and keep one. Oh! So one is more about skill. And the other's about is... a shiny thong. <laughs> and see, here's the thing to consider. Because our population is now quite low, we're going to have to start making babies. And those new babies, I whenever agree, they go out to fight are going to start gaining fighting arts. So, oh, having three and picking one. But also, we've good. lost we've lost the Thundermall. We've lost the uh, we've lost the we've also lost the the axe. Yeah, um, the axe of doom because yeah. it was irreplaceable. Uh, I mean, we've lost a lot. We've lost the irreplaceable axe of doom. Maybe so, but having that flat plus one strength, monsters are going to get tougher and tougher. On the one hand, there is the guarantee of that strength. Yeah. On the other hand, there's the randomness of fighting arts. I'm going to vote for Barbaric. I'm going with Barbaric. Looks like I'm not getting my shit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. um, we'll go through and add strength to all the characters at the end of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll do that off camera. But we still have other things to do. We need to add to our timeline the Hands of Heat. Yep. Yep. So didn't we already have Hands of Heat? Yes, but you get it on the next one as well. So yeah. it's Isn't that the one that gave John his, his uh, red. fiery hand thing? Yeah, Secret red. Fighting art? So, so we, we might get that back. Possibly, but that's if we're lucky. Mm. Yeah. Now we need to roll D10. Okay. I'll handle that this time. You want high or low? Uh, high. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> Ten. Okay, fine. Flawless. Nominate a survivor. Um, have we... Okay, let's only add him because he's not going on this fight. Okay. okay. They gain plus four courage, which means it unlocks his courage milestone, mm -hmm. which will resolve in a moment. He gains the ability of Thundercaller. Okay. okay. What's that going to do? He this? can call thunder, Justin. This is... This is <laughs> well, look, I've stayed in a hotel with you. This, in the middle of the night, you can call thunder. This is crazy. So once per lifetime, he can use this. Right. 
on a hunt board space after overwhelming darkness. So it has to, we have to hunt something that allows us to go past that, that distance. Mm -hmm. And in place of rolling a random hunt event, we get the 100 result. <gasps> Oh, so there's the chance of yes. retrieving the Thunder Maul again. Nice. All right. Okay. That's interesting. That Fate has useful. played us an interesting yeah. thing mm -hmm. here. We we did the right choice, I feel. Okay, yes. but we will get to that. Right, Adam needs to do his courage. So yeah. again, could you roll d d10 for his mm -hmm. uh, courage? Or it's a one. A one. <laughs> it's okay. It's not. It's not the end of the world. Settlement um, phase. Uh, Bold uh, does. He becomes a matchmaker. That's good. We needed one of those because John mm -hmm. was our matchmaker. Yep. He's dead. Yep. Uh, and um, the result was a one. We may re-roll one endeavor result. This. Oh well, that's useless. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Fine. So that is. That settlement event done with the principle of conviction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done the rivalry. Yeah, we still have the dark traitor if we want to buy any of that. And we still have all our resources. Yeah. Do you really want the shiny, sexy thong? <laughs> Do you want it? I don't. Can we afford it? <laughs> it's seven resources. It's se <sighs> Yeah, whereas the, the pink stone is one, two, three, two three, and we four, can get five, a finding six, stone. Seven, and we've seen eight, how useful they are. There. And how much is a pink stone? Two. Two. So we can't have both. No, but if we get okay. the Finding Stone, the the thing I've seen over the last two years of fighting that we've done is yes. that last one, whenever you get trapped into a horrible cycle, having a Finding Stone that you could just wing at it and say, take that away, take that wound. <sighs> it's your call. Uh, the, the Finding Stone sounds interesting. Okay. Well, right, well, what would you do, Chris? <laughs> don't, tell, don't ask that <laughs> damned question. <laughs> Um, no, I think it's the right choice because we don't. We're going to need a lot of these resources mm. along with what we can harvest from we the next all, hunt. We could always just buy nothing. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, we have uh, scrap there, which is going to be great because we can. Mate. We'll eventually be getting on to making like iron and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that, the hide comes in handy whenever we're going to start making the rest of the lion gear. Yeah. The bone is also useful for making weapons. So yeah. It's all really useful stuff we have there. So will we just? Not so yet. Well, we just oh, let's, bank it. Let's just bank it. All right. right. We're going to bank okay. it. Yeah. And <laughs> our four survivors need to go out and strip the bodies, or have they already done that? Uh, we've already done that. So we've got all the weapons back, but we've lost what? the ones that are irreplaceable. Okay. So we didn't lose much no. other than the irreplaceable stuff, the big yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we know we can kill monsters with the stuff we've got. Yeah. We've got mm -hmm. scraps already. So we've it's got not guitars. the end of the world. Yeah. Uh, all that remains to do is choose our survivors. Yep. And head back out there. Yeah. We're going to have to hunt a lion. Now, let, let's just double check before we stop. Are there any other story events on the settlement sheet? On the I settlement sheet. Just, just in case, uh -huh. we can see there was principal conviction. We've done. Yeah. We've done rivalry. Yeah. And we've done a settlement event. Yeah. We've done our death count. Yeah. Uh, we've done bold for Adam with the yeah. courage. Mm -hmm. So we are ready to rock with this next fight. Okay. okay. Now, people at home. Mm. Maybe it may have went through a total party kill or are about to go through a total party kill. Yeah. Okay. So we we have just went through it. It was painful. We, we are feeling weakened. Yes. Okay. So uh, my, my question is, right, we go out hunting. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we get to choose whether we're hunting a level one or a level two lion? That is a choice for us. So okay, we, can, so we can choose that. Yeah. Now, are we generally um, uh, better... Because there's a balance here, because the more time it takes, the more survivors that grow old and die and, and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. But also the more time it gives us to build up our pool of survivors. Okay, mm -hmm. How confident are we in hunting a level two lion? Or should we, should we pair it back and, and go hunting a level one lion? Uh, or a couple of level one lions? And try you have and to look at the risk award, because you only have so much time before you start hitting nemesis encounters. And if you keep fighting weaker monsters, you're getting less resource in. Yeah. yeah. To actually have equipment to deal with those big fights. There is also the goat. There is the goat. I hate the I, goat. No, no, I hate the goat. I hate I, the goat. My vote is for a level two lion because we, we've we recently fought it. It's it's quite annoying. It does drag you around a lot, but the amount of resource you get back, we should be fit to finish an armor set, and we have a nemesis fight coming up very soon in the timeline. And we generally know what we're doing with that one. Yeah. 
It's going to be a bit boring to the viewers, maybe. Oh, it's another line. But we need, need to do it. We need to do it. Is there a level three line? Oh, oh yes, there is. Wait and, until oh, we're would, on year what 20. What would a level three line be like compared to the dung beetle dude that so wet the floor Here's with your us. curve. So there's your, your level one line. Uh -huh. There's your level two line. Uh -huh. You see the ceiling? That's your level three line. And where was the dung beetle dude? Oh, the dung beetle was quite high up as well yeah like would a level three lion be easier to kill than a dung beetle dude well the, that um, was a level oh. one dung beetle knight yeah I, that's a tough call i'm not too sure on that because the dung beetle knight had less wounds yeah but it was quite tough uh, a level three line has a lot more wounds yeah okay a lot of ai in there then yes. yeah so you have a lot and of some real and some attack. legendary cards that we've not even yeah. seen yet Okay. Level two lion and voting. Mm -hmm. So there's no there there's really not much opportunity of ending this episode on a cliffhanger. Because it looks like we're headed out to get a level two lion. Yeah. yeah.